Hello everyone, it's Annie and I'm here today with my September TBR. So for September, I have a lot of exciting books that I want to read that I have been wanting to read for quite some time. Um, most of them are horror or horror adjacent. Um, and I believe all of them or almost all of them are by Latine authors for Hispanic Heritage Month, which starts in mid-September. So I'm really, really excited. Spooky season is starting, hence the snake, okay? I am so excited. This is my favorite time of year. So let's get started with the books. The first book I want to talk about is Monstrillo. And this is like a literary horror. Um, and the premise is wild. <laughs> so um, basically the main character dies as a child and his mother cuts out a piece of his lung um, and decides to nurture this in order for it to grow into the child it once was part of. Um, and the child begins to resemble, you know, the, the one who had died. And it deals with grief, it deals with maternal love, um, and it deals with horror. Um, and this is definitely one that I'm super, super interested in reading. I've heard really great things about it so far, um, and it just sounds like really creepy, so I'm, I'm into it. Next, we have This Thing Between Us by Gus Moreno, and this is a short little book I'm very excited to read, okay? So ever since Vera and Tiago bought the Itza, life has gotten strange. The ads for the world's most advanced smart speaker didn't mention scratching in the walls, eerie music in the dead of night, or peculiar packages. It's weird but amusing right up until Vera is killed, and Tiago's world becomes unbearable. Interesting. So this is supposed to be a startling, darkly funny horror novel about grief and rage, the loneliness of living between cultures, and the all-too-real oppressive intimacy of a technology. So this is interesting. Um, I never really gravitate towards like technological horror, but something about this cover and this book has just really drawn me in. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to read it. So this is another book I'm super, super excited to read. This is The Haunting of Alejandra. And this is about a woman who has been seeing La Llorona. Um, so Alejandra no longer knows who she is. To her husband, she's a wife, and to her children, a mother. To her own adoptive mother, she is a daughter, but they cannot see who she has become, a woman struggling with a darkness that threatens to consume her. Nor can they see what Alejandra sees. In times of despair, a ghostly vision of a crying woman in a white gown appears to her. She visits a therapist and begins exploring her family's history, and as she goes deeper into the lives of the women in her family, she learns that heartbreak and tragedy are not the only things she has in common with them, because the crying woman was with them too. She is La Llorona, the vengeful and murderous mother of Mexican legend, and she will not leave until Alejandra follows her mother, grandmother, and all the women who came before her into darkness. That sounds so good, <laughs> okay? Um, this has gotten mixed reviews, but Ever since I saw this cover and I had been like hearing it talked about before it came out, I knew I had to read this. So this is absolutely on my list. Next, we have a translated work, which is Jawbone by Monica Ojeda. And this just sounds incredibly, incredibly strange. Um, the tagline is Fernanda and Annalise are so close, they're practically sisters, inseparable. So how does Fernanda end up bound on the floor of a deserted cabin held hostage by one of her teachers and estranged from Annalise? That's all I need to know because to be honest, the synopsis doesn't really explain much. Um, so it's supposed to interweave pop culture references and horror concepts drawn from, from Herman Melville, H.P. Lovecraft, and creepypastas. Um, it is an ominous multivocal novel that explores the terror inherent in the pure potentiality of adolescence and the fine line between desire and fear. Um, yeah, I 
I'm excited. I'm very excited. There's a couple of translated books on my TBR and this is one of them. And this is a book that I have had my eye on for quite some time. So I'm really excited to get into it this September. The next book is also by V. Castro, who wrote The Haunting of Alejandra, and this is Goddess of Filth. This is a super, super tiny book, which is why I'm adding it to my TBR, to be honest. It has been on my list for a while, um, and it just sounds really interesting. Um, one hot summer night, the best friends Lourdes, Fernanda, Ana, Perla, and Pauline hold a seance. It's all fun and games until their tipsy laughter turns to terror when the flames burn straight through their prayer candles and Fernanda starts crawling towards her friends and chanting in Nahuatl, the language of their Aztec ancestors. Over the next few weeks, she starts acting strangely, smearing herself in black makeup, shredding her hands on rose thorns, and sucking sin out of the mouths of the guilty. The local priest is convinced it's a demon, but Lourdes begins to just suspect it's something else, something far more ancient and powerful. Interesting little novella. All right, I'm into it. The next one, I am really excited for this. This is The Devil Takes You Home by Gavino Iglesias. And this was a book of the month pick a while back. Um, this is less of a horror and more thriller, I believe, but I'm into it anyway. Basically, this man, um, he his marriage is in shambles and his daughter is sick, I believe, and he decides to take one last job as a hitman in order to kind of get himself out of his financial crisis. And that's all I know, um, but I've heard good things about it, some mixed things, but I'm just, I'm really into it. Something about it has just been drawing me to it since it came out, and I know now is the time to read it. I, I'm, I'm just really interested in it. He goes on like this road trip with some other hitmen and I'm, I feel like this is going to be a more character driven story, which I am obviously into. That is what I love. So I'm excited. Now this book is one I have been so itching to read for so, so long. I can't wait any longer. This is Witches by Brenda Lozano. She's a Mexican writer and this is translated as well. And this is so cool. Look at this cover, just absolutely stunning, <laughs> okay? When I first saw this, I was like, I have to read this, okay? So, all right. Paloma is dead, but before she was murdered, before she was even Paloma, she was a traditional healer named Gaspar. Before she was murdered, she taught her, hus her cousin, Feliciana, the secrets of the ceremonies known as Viladas and about the language and the book that unlock their secrets. Zoe, a journalist, is sent to report on Paloma's murder in her mountain village of San Felipe. There she meets Feliciana and the two women's lives twist around each other in a dance macabre. Feliciana tells Zoe the story of her struggle to become an accepted healer in her community and Zoe begins to understand the hidden history of her own experience as a woman, finding her way in a hostile environment shaped by and for men. Yeah. So we have witchery, we have feminism, we have interesting relationship between two women. Um, we have a recipe for a book that I am hopefully gonna love. The last book on this TBR is a chunky one. <laughs> it is Our Share of Night, and this is translated as well, and the author is Argentinian. This book, let me just see, let me see how, how many pages it is because I'm I'm a little scared holding it, not gonna lie. It is 588 pages. <laughs> um, so thank God I have some shorter books on this TBR. And, but this book, aside from the cover being absolutely stunning, um, we have a very, very interesting synopsis here. So a young father and son set out on a road trip, devastated by the death of the wife and mother they both loved. United in grief, the pair travel to her ancestral home, where they must confront the terrifying legacy she has bequeathed. The woman they mourn came from a clan like no other, a centuries-old secret society called the Order that commits unspeakable acts in search of eternal life. For Gaspar, the son, this maniacal cult is his destiny, and now he is in danger. As the Order tries to possess him, father and son take flight. Yet nothing will stop the Order, for nothing is beyond them. But how far will Gaspar's father go to protect his child? And can anyone escape their fate? This sounds so good. Okay, this has gotten rave reviews. I have not read by Mariana Enriquez before, 
um, but I know that she wrote The Danger of Smoking in Bed, which is a very popular, I think, short story collection. I haven't read it, or novella. Um, and this is the first novel of hers to be translated into English. So I'm excited, okay? This has been just staring me in the face from the library shelf where I work saying, read me, read me, because the cover is just so enchanting and captivating, okay? And we love a good horror novel, a really juicy one that like, there's gotta be some juice in here, okay? In these 588 pages, so I'm ready. All right, and that is it for my TBR. I have a couple other books up my sleeve. If I happen to finish all of these by the end of September, which I don't know if we will, but these are my priority books, okay? So you'll just have to see in my September wrap up whether I do read any others, but you know, sometimes I do deviate from my set TBR. So anyway, let me know what you're planning to read for September if you're getting into any scary, spooky books, all right? Or if you're getting into any other books by Latina authors that you think I should check out, I would highly appreciate you letting me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel for more bookish videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye!